All right, so really cool way to handle the drinks to our guests is like balancing. All right, until, you know, to get to like pyramids on our forearm or our forehead, we're gonna start off with a little basic, kind of easy move. So first of all, take your hand, right? You are right, you put it right here. Either you make the cocktail right there, or if it's easier for you, just like prepare the cocktail right here on the bar. You have it on your for on your hand, and after that you handle to your guest. It's a pretty nice trick. It's kind of cool, and it's not that hard at all, especially if you're not like that, you know, good in flair bartending yet. So you can start it up with like little tricks like this. After you become fully comfortable on that, you can change the part of your hand. You can put it right here on your forearm, right? But we prepare it. We try and like you looking like it's pretty, you know, hard to balance it and think. And after that, it's ready. Pa, 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 you put the straw, you put the garnish, you hand it to the guest. Guest is cheating, he's like, wow, you amazing. After you're comfortable with that, you can use any type of part of your body, more or less. You can use our elbow, you can use our the other forearm right here, you can use your, your forehead, whatever you feel comfortable with. After that, was the next step, right? Like, we, we're good with this, we're already like, we got this, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're already like super comfortable. Let's do two guys in the same time. Okay, so, both glasses, he's gonna like prepare the cocktails, he's gonna pour in the bowl of them and after that, boom, there we go. We have two cocktails served in the same time. Or, if you're by yourself, how gonna you, how gonna you put it? If you are like pretty advanced with it, we can use our forearm right here, and like prepare the cocktails, two, 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 two of them, you handle it. Or, the easiest way, because we already, like I said, we're already comfortable with these parts of the body. We put one on the elbow, one right here. Pa, pa, pa. Put the ice, put the liquor, put the mixer, or just like put the cocktail out of the shaker. Choo, 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 choo. And you handle to our guest. Poof, poof. Amazing way. Two cocktails, two glasses in the same time, on one hand, balancing. Poof. It's amazing. Definitely it's gonna increase your tip way better. Bam. We're comfortable with that, okay? We already have two glasses. How we make it more interesting? All right, let's make, let's go to the next step, which is like build it up buildings on our forearm. <laughs> but still to build it up the building, the pyramid, we have to make sure we're pretty comfortable with different type of items behind of the bar, which is a bottle. We take the bottle because it's gonna be part of the, our build, right? Our building, our the pyramid. We put the, the, the bottle, we're the kind of comfortable with the glass. So we put the bottle, we practice, we make sure we get comfortable with, with it. Like we look at the, you know, look somewhere else, you just walk around the, the practice area, your home or whatever you practice, and you feel comfortable with it, okay. We turn around the bottle, just because we cannot really put the glass on top of it. Actually, we, put, we can do it, but like, yeah. It's gonna take a little bit more time. This is gonna be like the, you know, the last level of the Dragon Ball Z Sensei. <laughs> but after you're comfortable with this, turn around the bottle, the same practice, just like, you know, walk around and make it part of you, all right? Like I said, it's muscle memory. Okay, it's part of you. After it's already here, boom. We put the glass on top of it, like uh, we did before, which was, the glass, let me make a little bit of room right here. We put the glass right here. We're already comfortable, right? We're already comfortable with this bottle right here too. Okay, now we're gonna put the glass on top of the bottle. Upside down on your forearm. A little trick that you guys have to like, you know, making sure you do it, eh? is like always have a napkin, which is like kind of wet, a little bit, not soaking wet, just kind of, you know, precipitation on it, to say like this. You put it on the bottom of the bottle, just to make sure, you know, it's glass over glass, it's gonna slide, more likely it's gonna slide. So we wanna make sure we're gonna use a, a, a napkin, kinda wet, and in this way, like we know for sure, there are less chances to drop it. Doesn't mean we don't have to practice before, all right? So, we have the glass on top of the bottle with the napkin between, there we go. We're ready, okay? We're ready to add the ice. We're ready to add the, the liquid or the cocktail. And we're ready to, to handle to the customer, to our guest, if you're pretty comfortable with it. If not, just stay behind of the bar in your like, you know, area, grab it, 
and give it to them, handle to them, all right? How we make it more interesting? Just adding more items, right? Okay, so for this, the same, the base. We have the bottle, we have the wet napkin, we had the glass. To add another glass on top of it, uh, it's not, we need a base, right? A base which cannot be other than two glasses. All right, so makes sense, right? Like a pyramid, like I said. Put two glasses and on top of the two glasses, it's gonna come one glass, but like, how can we make it sure it's not gonna slide? It's not gonna fall? Because the bottom of the bottle is not that wide enough to hold two glasses, we're gonna use a speed opener, all right? Every single body, every type of sports bar, any pub, any cocktail bar has a We put the, the speed opener. We're not gonna put the glasses, if we can put it, we just wanna be more relaxed when we do the act, right? When we do the performance. So to make sure it's not gonna slide, any type of you know movement, it may happen. We're gonna add another little napkin between the bar opener and the glasses. The, the same, a little bit wet. We put it down here. And now in this case, we're pretty sure the base is kind of stable, all right? Look at this. Make sure you put it both in the same time, right? Take a look. Bam, amazing. And now the last glass can come on top. We're gonna use the same, the little trick, which is a little napkin, which is a little bit wet. We'll put it on top, boop, and the glass comes right here. Make sure the little building, the little pyramid where you just build it, is gonna stand like that on top of the bar, on the back bar, or wherever you build it first. Because if it stands there, it's gonna stand on your hand too. If it doesn't stand like that here, which is like super flat port, uh, surface, it's not gonna stand on your, on your arm or, or your forehead or your knee or whatever you wanna put it. We take everything, hold it from the top, hold it from the bottom, and you just put it on your arm and it's, it's your time. Right now it's your show. But you have the cocktail already done, yeah? If it's not a cocktail, it's maybe a drink, like a whiskey. You have the whiskey, we put it, but we're trying to make it like it's oof. Like I said, we're already comfortable, okay? We already practiced so many times, so this is like super easy for us, but we, we, we want to make it the, dude, this shit is hard. I'm doing right now the very first time. I saw last night on YouTube, I'm just like putting in the show, just today, first time in my life, just for you. So we're trying to make it. We are concerned. Wow. We're trying to, trying to make it happen. Trying to not like lose it already. Ah, another thing that I really likes, is really like catchable for the eye. It's uh, lighted up the napkin. Like I said, it's pretty wet, but if you have like a good lighter on you, just light up the, the napkin, just because everyone goes crazy for fire, right? <laughs> So if you're gonna have like a little bit of action, more action, which is a fire, psh, light it up the, the napkin, all the, the guests will be like, whoa, look at that. Like after, like he already built up a pyramid and he's balancing all these glasses on his forearm and now he's burning everything. Dude, this this kind of amazing, right? And like I said, if you're super comfortable with him, you go over and you, you handle the, the drink to your um, guests, right? Bah, he's gonna take it, he's gonna cheat you, he's gonna tip you well. If you're not, like I said, if you're not like pretty comfortable with it, you take it, we take the glass, after you, you hold the bottle, yeah? Because it's a pretty big, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty big part of it. So, to be comfortable with it, you either hold it and grab the glass you put it, or either you just take the glass, you put it down, and after that, grab everything, and just enjoy the applause and the cheering from the people, right? <laughs> And now, add uh, the little straw if you didn't put it, and just hand it to the customer, to your guest, to your friend, or whatever is in your bar. And like, boom, you made it, you put it in the show. Like I said, you don't have to, it still takes a little bit of practice, but like, you, if you're not like, if you're not willing to be a flare bartender, which is like uh, things in the air, you can really put it in the show with little things like this. Like I said, start it up with the, just one glass, and after that, two glasses, after that, three glasses, and after that, I don't know, you can even take, you can take the barbecue, put it in your forearm, and on top of the barbecue, put another glass and make the drink. Whatever comes in your mind, 
and whatever thing is like likable for the, the person in front of the bar, or whatever things like is visual amazing, do it just put it in the show and definitely your tip is gonna increase way more.